Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy back on the Madden 17 and today we got golden tickets. If you guys didn't see the video I posted earlier, go check it out. I'm gonna do my best. Hopefully to get both of these out. If not, I look like an absolute idiot. But of course, you guys know I gotta try and pull packs, get some of these golden tickets. I did a breakdown who I like the most and I broke down the cards and gave my honest ratings and how much uh, and if I think that they're going for a decent amount. Uh, the, the 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 link for that video is gonna be up on the screen right now. You guys can see it. Just, 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 just click on it. So I decided to go ahead and turn on the webcam because if I pull a golden ticket, which I probably won't, I feel like I should probably have the webcam on at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. There we go. Start off the pack opening right. We already pulled ourselves our first elite Khalil Mack. But I'm pretty much going to open up every single one of these all pro packs because I want myself a golden ticket. If I could pull that Brandon Marshall, that would be awesome. Masha, Masha, Masha. We already pulled two elites so far. They're just base elites. They're not going for anything. I am content. I have so many packs to pull. I am content on attempting to pull these golden tickets. Now, what I did last year actually was I used to hold on to bundles. Last year during the draft promo, I actually pulled I pulled a 299s and a 98 and 297s in the same pack opening. Um, and, and the video blew up. I don't know if you guys seen it or not. I'll put it in the description below It's so embarrassing and I hate the video what I did there was I saved like so many bundles I probably had like six hundred dollars worth of bundles to open up that day So I was pretty much guaranteed to pull something decent But the problem with that this year is I am almost like 99% sure that you cannot save packs like that because every time I do I never pull stuff that has recently came out like I'll buy team of the week packs and then save them for the next team of the week and I would never ever ever pull any of the team of the week stuff from the new week only the previous week. So I guess it's kind of like once you are given the packs what is in them is already determined. Now I could be wrong but like I said whenever I save packs from old promotions or something like that I'm, I'm never able to pull stuff from the new promotion. So let me know if you guys have ever been able to hold packs and pull something new. Because I've tried doing that many times this year. You know, I've tried buying Ultimate Legend packs or something like that and saving them to the next Ultimate Legends were in packs. And I never pulled anything to show me that I'm able to hold packs and open them up the next time. Um, but I got a couple more of these stragglers to pull and then I'm going to move on to that bundle that I bought. Now these guys give an increased chance at pulling ultimate tickets. You guys can see all pro pack increased chance at pulling ultimate ticket players now. For all we know it doesn't actually increase doodly shit and I'm just pulling these packs for no reason and I'm an idiot. Because that's probably what it is anyways. But a decent amount of golden tickets have already been pulled. So it's my job to try and pull one too. We, we got two more to open up here and then we get to jump up into the bundle. We get a Malik Jackson. It's been elite list uh, for the most part now. I believe this is our last one. That it is least. Let me get something good out of this pack opening. I'm not necessarily looking for a goal. The wrong Derrick Henry. The pack gods have blessed us with the wrong Derrick Henry. Oh shit, there's also some some normal all pro packs in here too that I can buy with the rest of the points. See, look at this. I'm over here glitching. I'm finding out shit that, that people didn't even know existed. I'm not going to pull all of them, just whatever are sitting around. Because these ones don't give me an increased chance at pulling a golden ticket. So this is the last one that I got. Let me get something nice. Please, we got a Jack Del Rio. Come on, give me a, just a base elite would be nice. So I bought both of them. I got 22 packs to open up. 22. What is? I think there's three chances. That gives me 66 chances at pulling myself an ultimate ticket. We get two, two, count them, two Bengals players in a row. Come on, man. Give me something glitchy here. Nothing so far. We got a Keenan Allen. Come on, man. Just give me... Give me one. There we go. We get a Matt Forte. There's an Elite. Let me know if you guys have pulled anything or if you guys are even pulling packs. Now, I pulled packs yesterday, not knowing that there was going to be ultimate tickets in today, of course. So, hopefully, maybe I'll get that pack opening out tomorrow. I pretty much opened it up looking for Elshon Jeffrey. Um, but, you know, I didn't realize that golden tickets were coming out. What the fuck is this thing? What the fuck? I don't even know you can still pull these. But, I I, uh, I was pull I pulled the packs. There we go. We get two Elites in this pack. But I pulled those packs not knowing any better, so that pack opening is going to come open a little bit later. Because And I told myself I wasn't going to open up packs for a while, but then of course, Ultimate Tickets had to come out the very next day. And I would be stupid to not at least give it a go, but I would probably say, there we go, we did Chris Harris Jr. I'd probably say this is going to be one of my last pack openings of the year, unless there is something just so ridiculous that I have to get a chance at pulling. Because homie has not had the greatest pack luck. In the beginning of the year, I'm gonna be honest, I did pull some pretty cool stuff. I pulled like, I think I pulled Team of the Year David Johnson or something like that. I actually did pull some stuff that was going for a decent amount, but it kind of cut off and I haven't been pulling diddly squat lately, honestly. Uh, 
So I kind of just, I kind of just stopped pulling as much packs. We are running dangerously low, nothing too spectacular. Pulled it all. There we go. There's our best pull so far, a 90 overall Jared Cook. He might actually be going for a decent amount just because of those refresh sets that came out. 11 more packs to go. I've been thinking about picking up that Javon Curse, that Madden Championship one. He looks pretty goddamn glitchy, and I know some people are going to say, oh, he's overpriced, just get the other one. But I like the chemistry's better on that one. So I know it's not like a substantial difference, but, you know, is there really... I don't, you know what, I don't care. I got, I got 1.7 mil, let me spend it on whatever I want. Okay, so we get a Packers West Coast offense. Man, come on, let me get something good in this pack opening. Let me, let me hit it from, let me hit it from the left. Let me hit it from the left. I'm gonna hit the next one from the left. Best pull so far has been a 90 overall Jared Cook. We are out here getting scammed. We got ourselves a base elite Eric Berry. It is base elite city in these streets. These, these pulls would have been great like nine months ago whenever they were actually going for a decent amount let's go let's go back the other way go back the other way absolutely nothing fuck i got five more packs but that's 15 more chances oh, i don't i honestly don't know how many golds are even i'm gonna have to count Have to count no i don't even want to count so that's two we got th okay so three yeah so we did have 15 chances now we only have 12 chances please please let me pull something to worth something because I feel like I haven't pulled anything worth something at all this whole game. I'll pack opening that too, but I did actually pull some pretty decent stuff this year. Well, we get an Adamakin Sue and we get a, a Tress Way. So, you know, I did pull some decent links. I'll be able to do some elite refresh sets at least. They should make some better elite uh, elite refresh sets because this is some booty. Uh, maybe like five golden or five elite base elite players or something to upgrade to like do a quick sell or anything because this is booty this is my last chance at pulling something good come on please Sh wrong mike evans come on man i'm out here getting scammed i got scammed that's all i got for this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did definitely give a like i'm a subscribe follow me on twitter it's gonna be down in the description below like i said if you guys didn't see the other video go check it out because i actually did a pretty in-depth analysis i would say a pretty good one that's it. And I also I also did a pretty good job explaining like what people were thinking of whenever they made their cards, at least what I think that they were thinking whenever they made their cards, and what I would do differently. So it's actually a pretty cool video. I like it a lot. You guys will like it a lot. Go check it out. And as always, peace.